Hello, today we're going to talk about setting up associated items and associated documents with ultimate forms. I have a projects list which I've already created and I'll just quickly show you the form that I have right now. This is just a basic form with two tabs. I have fields for project, description, project leader, status, and notes. So it's just a simple concept, a project tracking list. What I want to do is add an associated items list for project tasks. And also I want to do associated documents, which will be a list of documents related to the project. The first thing I need to do is create the related list and library for those associated items. So I'm going to go to the site contents and the first thing I want to do is create a list called project tasks. Now normally you'd want to add fields and do a layout for your form but just to move quickly to show this part of the configuration, uh, we'll stick with just the default fields. I want to go to the list settings. And the first thing I need to do is go to advanced settings and allow for management of content types. Once I've done that, I then want to click on item and remove the default item content type. You'll get a warning message and just type or click on OK to proceed. Once you've done that, you can add the special associated items content type. Pick InfoWise in the first drop down and then click Add for InfoWise associated item. Once you've done that, this is ready to set up using the associated items field. As a next step, I'm going to go to set up the library for associated documents. It's the same concept, but this time for documents. I'm going to create a new document library and call it project documents. And same thing, I'll go to Library Settings, and I need to go to Advanced Settings first to allow management of content types. Once I've done that, I will get rid of the default document content type. I'm clicking on Delete this content type, and then just click OK. Once I've done that, I will once again go in to add the special InfoWise content type. And in this case, because it's a library, there's just one option, InfoWise Associated Document. I hit OK. And now this library is ready to be used in the Associated Documents field. At this point, I want to return back to the projects list. Okay, and I will go to the ultimate forms design screen. And now I can create these special associated items fields. The first one will be for project tasks. And the tool will search for child lists in the site that have the right content type. It found two of them. The one I'm doing right now is Project Tasks. And for this example, I'll just use the default configuration settings. Now I want to do the Project Documents. 
Same thing as before, except this time I'm selecting the library, which was named Project Documents. And again, I'm gonna go with the default settings. Once I've created those fields, I can go to Form Designer and I can add those fields to the form. I'll add them on the bottom of the first tab. Here's Project Tasks. And then below that, I'm gonna add Project Documents. One thing you might find that could help out is also to give it a white background. In order to do that, in this case, I'll add a container and give it a background color for a style. I'll make that white. I'll give it a border. and a little bit of padding. And now I'm just gonna drag those fields into that section so that it doesn't have that background. I'm gonna publish, and once that's complete, I can go and test my functionality. We're all set. I can click on the link on the blue bar, and now I should be able to go into my project and get the associated items functionality. Here's tasks. As you can tell, it just keeps adding. And then the other one was for documents. And that allows for drag and drop, uh, or actually click on new, and uh, then you can drag and drop your document, and it works just the same way. And that's it. That's how you use associated items and associated documents.